Hi guys. So, I'm going to be doing a video, so as you can see I have a very large poinsettia in my hands. So, today's video that I'm going to show you is a lot of people throw these beautiful plants after kind of New Year, just after Christmas. Why? When we can plant them up and keep them for next year. Or we could put them in the ground and make beautiful bushes out of them. So, today I'm going to show you how to pot them up. There is a really specific way to do it. Um, but I'll get to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, so we're going to give it a go today and hopefully the new, if you haven't thrown away your poinsettias already, we can have them for next year. Compost. <laughs> so I'm gonna put gloves on anyway because I do have sensitive skin and it's just better precaution wise so our compost it's Casper our compost that we're using is organic um, it's high in nitrogen as well which obviously the nitrogen is what produces the green leaves and again I'll I'll, I'll explain more about this because towards kind of next october november is where kind of a nice fertilizer of phosphorus is a lot better because that's what then turns the leaves red but we shall get onto that in a minute okay take my gloves off because i can't press the button on my phone to start recording when i start snipping then i'll start with my gloves so they're not really particularly fussy about what soil they're in a few dead leaves in here but they are a brilliant plant to have they don't flower willingly they don't flower willingly um again the the way we're gonna pot the way you pot the poinsettia is right now it's flowered so that's why they start the leaves start falling off they start they're they're basically dying because they feel like they they know they think they have done their job that's their job to go flower but what we can do is when we pot it up we defoliate the plant so we're going to start by taking now i've already took this off i took this off when i first got my poinsettia um some people have it on just literally snip and then just take it away you don't need it anymore now, when I say they're very root bound, so if you can see, I've watered this one. So I don't know if you can see, but all of these roots that are starting to circulate. Now, in order to get them to be a little bit more free flowing, just kind of tease the bottom like so, because then the roots if you see here the roots will then start to go down right there we go that's a lot better so i'm just going to pop that in there for now now when you're potting up your poinsettia it's better to double the pot size so this is quite a small pot so you could go for something like this but i'm gonna do it a lot bigger because I want a big ear, I want it, I want it to last a lot longer. So I'm going to go with this size. So you just you start by doing the roots and the poinsettia. Obviously, taking off the green plastic trellis. <laughs> this could only happen to me. <laughs> I broke my Christmas pot. <laughs> I'll just be careful not to. <laughs> careful not to um cut my fingers <laughs> it's typical that absolutely typical such a me thing to do on my first video back as well oh dear so <laughs> obviously tickle and loosen the roots this will help the roots to spread out instead of thinking that they have to start circulating again and then when you plant the poinsettia into your pot, 
if you make it one to two inches deeper than the soil just to help support the root the help support the plant and help the roots to form a little bit more a little bit more Ugh. We think one more and we should be full. I don't know where this pot came from, it was just on the side, so I don't know if Andy's using it for anything else. But if he is, oops. <laughs> right, so I don't know where to sit up or stand down. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a hole for the poinsettia. We don't defoliate until after we've potted it. So again, let the roots just dangle free like so make a hole and then there we go make sure that's nice and firm to give her support and there we are one pond set up on potted planted potted so now the poinsettia is potted up in a much bigger pot, triple the size. So hopefully this will be become really bushy and really nice. Now, as I said, when the leaves turn red, the plant is in a state of shock and it thinks it's done its job and it starts wilting. It starts, the leaves start coming off. Now, what we need to do now in order to help it survive is put a stop to this shock process. Now to do that, I don't know if you can see here, but to do that, you just need to snip one node or one leaf below. Now again, if you have sensitive skin, wear your gloves. Okay, we're going in. So you can see this leaf here is all red. This one's slightly red here. This one is green. I don't know if you can see that there, but that one is green. So I'm just gonna snip. Just underneath there. Just one leaf under. Now as you can see, I'll come up a bit closer. With the poinsettia, you can see this white, that's the white sap, the milky sap. Now again, it can agitate you, so wear your gloves if you need to. So when I say just one leaf under, so you've got your red flower here, and then you've got one more leaf which is slightly turning red, but then you have here one green leaf. So if you work your way down and then you just snip underneath this green leaf. Now it will start seeping sap at the top here, but it will dry out and cover itself over. So I'm just gonna use this pot here to put all the remnants in. So again, red leaf, green leaf, but red. There's one there, just like that. Now doing this will also help with bringing out the side shoots, which will then in turn make the poinsettia into a bushier flower. Right. Again, so this is not the end product. So all the leaves, the red flowers are in there and you literally just no more red leaves and like i said these will dry up and cover over so there's no need to worry about them so that is literally how you defoliate your poinsettia question and this sounds sounds really horrible the way they make these poinsettias because they're beautiful flowers so I'm going to leave mine in this big pot, okay? So I can have it in the house. I probably will put it in the house once these have covered up and obviously out of the way of Sebastian. Or I could possibly leave it out here. Now, in order to keep the green leaves a lot of sunlight, a lot of nitrogen in the soil, then when it comes to October, November... You want to restrict the light that you give the poinsettia. So between three to four hours a day light and that is it. That will then 
put the plant into its shock stage, which will then again start producing the red leaves and the flowers. As cruel as it sounds, that's the way to do it. There are other ways you can do it. You can just use a, a red lamp instead and just have it on the plant itself. That does help. But the main way to, to help it is just in the darkness or in a really shady part for all of the day apart from three to four hours. So you don't have to just keep it in a pot. If you want to bring it in and out for the festive season, then I obviously I recommend putting it in a pot itself, but you can actually plant them into the ground. Now, if you were going to plant them into the ground, I would suggest a lot of nitrogen fertilizer to give it a good boost. Obviously do the cuttings as we have done in this video, but don't put it that where it's going to be in direct sunlight 12 months of the year because then you won't get that shock to produce the red leaves what i would suggest is finding a place that's mostly direct sunlight between the spring and summer and then as it's coming into the autumn where it's a lot more shaded that so should just, relatively give the poinsettia a kick start into having its red leaves and flowers ready for the festive season and that's it so i hope you liked the video guys uh, but i just thought you know a lot of people buy these poinsettias they are beautiful flowers and then we just kind of chuck them out you know new year's just after new year's they're all kind of crinkly and you just kind of think oh well it's dying but it's not dying it just needs you to take it out of its shock status and pot it up and then you can have a poinsettia in your garden or as a house plant for the whole year. And then you can have it turning red again for the festive season. So I hope you've enjoyed this channel. Well, this channel. I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys, on how to plant and pot up your poinsettia for next year. And I will see you again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on our channel to see what we get up to next. Thanks, guys.